Hey everybody, my name is Will and this is Idiot Proof Cooking. If you're new to the channel, I make simple and easy to follow recipes that I would consider are idiot proof because hey, if an idiot like me can make something, you certainly can too. And if you've seen the channel before, you know the drill. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of experimentation baking. I'm going to be making some cookies, specifically some chocolate cookies with chocolate chips. So really a double chocolate chip cookie. But I went out and picked up some peppermint patties because I want to stick them in the center of them and see how those turn out. So it's like a chocolate mint cookie. I think these are going to turn out really good. So let's get into making them. All right, let's make some cookies, shall we? I'm excited to see how these turn out. So what we're going to need to do first is get ourselves a large mixing bowl, much like the one I have here. And then we're also going to get ourselves a large sifter. And into that sifter, we're going to start off by adding two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So pour that in. Once that's in, we're going to add in three quarters of a cup of Dutch processed cocoa. Once that's in, we're going to add in one teaspoon of baking soda. So pour that in with the cocoa and the all-purpose flour, and then we're going to sift this all together to make sure there's no clumps. Now normally the cocoa powder is going to clump up, so just use like your hand or a spoon or a whisk like I'm using and just work all the clumps out through the sifter. Once you've sifted all of the dry goods, add in a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt and give everything a good whisking to combine. Once that's done, we're going to set aside the dry ingredients and we're going to get ourselves another mixing bowl because we're going to start working with some wet ingredients. But first, we're going to add in one cup of white granulated sugar to the mixing bowl. Then we're going to add in one cup of dark brown sugar to the mixing bowl. And then we're going to get ourselves two large eggs. I've let them sit out at room temperature for about 30 minutes. And we're going to crack both of them in, make sure you don't get any shells in. And then we're going to mix the eggs with the sugar until they're fully combined. Make sure to crack the yolks and then just whisk them all together. Make sure you break up any large clumps of the brown sugar. Sometimes it does clump up. But yeah, mix that all together until it's combined. And then we're going to add in one cup of unsalted butter that I've just left out at room temperature for like an hour to soften up. You don't want to use full Fully melted butter. Once the butter's in, we're going to get our electric mixer and cream this all together until it's fully combined. Look at that, that looks great. Once that is combined, we're going to add in some vanilla paste, about two teaspoons of vanilla paste, and then just use the electric mixer again to make sure everything is combined. Once that's done, we're going to just clean off our mixer here for a second and bring back our dry goods because it's time to start mixing these together. So get your wet ingredients and start carefully spatulaing them into the dry ingredients. Is spatulaing a verb? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, scrape down the bowl with your spatula, get all of the wet ingredients in, you don't want to miss any. And then we're going to get out our trusty electric mixer once again and mix this all together until it's thoroughly combined. You're going to get a nice, rich, dark cookie dough like that. That's the Dutch processed cocoa powder. It's darker than normal cocoa powder, and that's what I was going for here. Look at look at this, look at that, look at how great that is. That's the consistency you're looking for too. Like it clumps together when you squeeze it, but it's still kind of crumbly. But anyways, that, that looks great so far, so let's get into making these cookies. Now, I did say I'm going to stick some peppermint patties in the center of these, so I've got like two dozen of the miniature peppermint patties. Look at those. These are going to be good, I think. So let's just get some of the cookie dough here. I've got like a tangerine size ball of cookie dough. Yeah, that's a good size, like a tangerine size. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to take the cookie dough and we're going to press it out with our hands to make it into a cookie shape. Pretty straightforward, right? Then we're going to get one of those peppermint patties. We're going to stick it into the center of the cookie and then we're going to fold the edges up of the cookie all the way around it and then just press it out with our hands a little bit like that look at that now I'm gonna set that aside and just repeat the process get yourself a ball of cookie dough and then spread it out with your hands to form a cookie shape stick a peppermint patty into the center of it and then just fold the cookie dough around it on all sides and then press it out with your hands to reform it into a cookie shape I'm gonna set those aside on a parchment lined baking sheet and voila we've got ourselves some cookies now just keep in mind the recipe I'm showing you actually makes more than six cookies but for the sake of expediency I'm only going to bake six for 
the episode. But before we do bake them, I'm going to sweeten these up just a little bit more by adding some chocolate chips on top. So I'm going to liberally cover all of them in semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then one final step before we bake these is we're going to stick them in the fridge for one to two hours to harden up the cookie dough a little bit. It prevents them from spreading a lot when you bake them. So after two hours in the fridge, they've hardened up quite nicely. So now it's time to bake them. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake the cookies for anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes until they spread a little bit, but they're gonna come out nice and melty and slightly puffy like that. Look at those beautiful cookies. They're super hot, but as you can see, the chocolate chips are nice and melty. So we're just going to let these cool down for like 15 to 20 minutes until I can properly handle the baking sheet without burning my hands. <laughs> and then we're just going to extricate the cookies carefully off the baking sheet and throw them on my cutting board here because it's time to arrange these and go in for a taste test. So let me just get a knife. I'm gonna cut it right down the center so that you can see the peppermint patty in the middle. Look at how beautiful those turned out. Oh my God, they smell so good. They look rich and chocolatey. And look at that center piece of the peppermint patty. Oh man, I am so happy with how these turned out. Let's go in for a taste test. And yeah, wow, those were good. They were so rich and chocolatey. And the minty center, just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. The cookie, it was a kind of fudgy almost really. And you know what, hold on. We better give Rose a taste test. She demands a taste test with all my videos. And does she like it? Oh yeah, I think she likes it. Rose, oh yeah, there it is. She loved it. Man, these were good. These were, these were awesome. Holy, they were awesome. Give them a try at home. But anyways, that is the end of the episode. I hope you like what you saw here today. If you did, why don't you drop me a comment, like the video, or even subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching Idiot Proof Cooking. We'll see you again soon.